tutorials in this video we are going to cover how to <coughs> edit existing uh, flow and how to use a condition in uh, automated flow and also we can able to check uh, flow running status and history of the flow also that we'll discuss and finally we'll share the flow with other users that will test in this video okay, coming back to the previous notification flow which we created so that is a notification flow and if you want to edit this one when we hit this one when we select we can see edit button in the top and also we can see the edit option from here once we hit this one it will open our flow in edit mode and this is a condition when an item created and we selected this one and this is a list and we are trying to send an email to the created user <clears throat> now if you want to modify this any of these things you can able to modify from here example if i want to add here who is adding this or who modified last and i can able to write modified by and then use colon and now we can able to insert some dynamic content here modified by display name so now i modify I modified this one and then just hit save one save button it will save the flow and the changes will reflect on the flow if you want to test you can able to test from the list for that I have here and I'm trying to add a new data now I'm just entering the details in the new form now it's loading if it taking time just refresh the list once again okay there is some login issue click new and our title is three and this is welcome app and then technology i'm using power apps again just click save now the data is added to the shape and list and when you go back to the outlook and uh, this power automate will trigger an email so to test that first we can go back to my flow and click on it and you can able to see the history of the flow you can you can able to see 28 days run history and the last run is happen here on march 2nd okay then we'll refresh this one okay now this is completed four seconds back we can see the history here and we can also able to see the notification in our outlook we just added modified by and it is getting that and it is reflected here in the email in the previous emails we don't have the modified by option modified by property in the email now we added that in the email body now we can able to see that and here also we can able to see the flow history in the flow history it is showing it is success and if you want to see complete uh, steps once you hit on that flow date and we can able to see this action is successfully completed and this action is successfully completed this way we can able to identify the history of the flow and we have other topics also and uh, this is how we can able to modify the existing workflow we can we understand that and uh, we understand how we can check the history of the flow now we'll try to add a condition in the automated flow we'll see how that condition works so for that i'm coming back to my flows and before editing this i just want to add a column here now i'm trying to add some choice column and i'm just giving a name as send email I'm giving a first choice as yes and the second choice is no when a user selects yes I want to send an email when a user selects no I don't want to send an email to the created by save it now, uh, now my property is added here and I'm going back to flow to add that condition select this one click edit 
Now, when an item is created, I want to trigger this flow. And before sending an email, I just want to add a condition. So now here we have add an action, add a parallel branch. We'll discuss about a parallel branch uh, later. Click on add an action. Now I'm trying to put a condition here. See, this is a condition control. When we click this one, now we can able to see yes branch, we can able to see no branch. So in the yes branch, <clears throat> I'm just taking send email value is equal to and I'll put yes. If send email is equal to yes, then I want to send an email. Otherwise, I don't want to send an email. So here I copied my send an email condition to here and in the no I am not uh, adding anything it automatically closes. So we will test this one. So to test this one I am just saving this flow. Okay now flow is added. Now I am trying to add a new application. Now I am giving a title number 4 and the application name is email test and I'm using technology as uh, SharePoint now I'll use no and click save okay done now in the send email property I have selected no so that's why my intention is this condition based on this condition it will not send an email to the created by user so i'll test one more one more condition just click new now here enter this one again i'm giving an application name is hst app and then technology i'm using a power apps and send an email i'm selecting yes click save now I added data two different types of data I added one is send email with a no condition another one is send email with a s yes condition so we'll test the history of these flows go back to flow and then select this one okay now this one is the first one when I click this one I can able to see the steps so now this is successful and this is successful when we go inside the condition now the input is false now the input is false which means it will go to the no side which means what is our input the input is we have given send email equal to no but in the condition we have selected send email equal to yes which means now this condition is false it will go to the no branch if it is true it will go to the yes branch we'll see that one before that i got an email now this email for hst app and we didn't get any email for email test okay this is done when we come back to this and we got the email for this one hst app and the technology is power apps and send my email is yes that's why we got an email and coming back to here in the history for this and we didn't get any email so that's fine we'll go back to history and we have another one which is run 15 seconds and we'll open this one so the first condition is completed and second one is now see the condition output is true now when the output is true and we can able to see and it is here in the if condition then we can able to see that send email is completed so we we are successfully tested with the condition we just given a simple condition if user wants to send an email they can able to select from on a property if they select yes and they can able to send an email if they select no and the workflow will not send an email to the user so this way we can use a condition here in the power automate and the last one if you want to share your flow and you can able to share with the other people now we can able to see this flow under the cloud flows and if you want to share this one with any of the user 
then select this one we have a share option when we hit share option we can able to see this pop up here and here you can able to enter a username now i have only one username so that's why it is shared with me if you have any other user you can able to type the username it will try to fetch that username from your ad <clears throat> Our Office 365 users and you can select and you can able to share your flows with the other users in the team so this way you can able to share the flows and once you share the flows other people also can able to access from the from their power automate so that is about this four different type of options in the power automate we discussed about edit existing flow and using condition in an automated flow and also we tested check flow running status and history of the flow and also uh, we have seen how we can share the flows with the other users so that is about that is about these conditions in the next video we will discuss about more actions